Yep. Just hopped on to say, um, I had a little session. Uh, uh, well, first of all, I'm taking a break um, from something that I was working on um, because my eyes are tired. From one, from one computer to the next. Well, this is not the computer, but I'm looking at my phone now. <clears throat> <clears throat> and um, oh, yeah, I gotta take that. All right, so I won't be on here long. <laughs> All right, so snip, 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 snip. <laughs> multitasking. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, um, hello, people. I was taking a break. <laughs> some break. I was taking a break from um, some typing that I was doing to rest my eyes. <clears throat> and I looked up in my uh, notifications and someone responded back. Someone responded back to um, something that was going on. Uh, um, something. Someone. Re I'm gonna be cutting this. <laughs> someone responded back to uh, a comment that I put when I was watching Don Lemon, my dude. Um, he was interviewing Michael Cohen, talking about Donald Trump. <laughs> so. Um, the attorney general from New York finally, in the civil case against him, finally, you know, she came out and she announced the charges and she's, she's going to be indicting him and his kids. And we think, and this is what Don Lemon, the question Don Lemon posed to, to Michael Cohen, it was that, do you think he's going to be indicted? Because she announced all these charges. And um, announcing the charges is not the same as, do you think there's enough that he will be indicted? Okay, probably so. It's a civil case, it's not a criminal case, but she's going to refer some of the charges to the attorney general, whom, whom I forget his name. Um, the same one that I said in my Cardi B video that he should um, indict her for the, uh, well, any more than likely he won't, for the sexual uh, assault that she claimed she did. Um, in the video she took down, um, and I forget his name. Um, so she referred some of the charges because he, they're violations of the criminal code to that attorney general. So he, Don Lemon was asking Michael Cohen, do you think that, uh, Letitia James, attorney general Letitia James is going to indict him? And Michael Cohen was saying, yes, I believe he is. And so he also said, how much money, Don Lemon said, how much money do you think Donald Trump really has? Because everybody thinks he has this fortune and that he has all this money. And so the people in, you know, from where we're from, <laughs> we know Donald Trump does not have all this money. Just because you have a building and you have cars and you have clothes and you have suits, you can get a lot of shit on credit because people know We'll do your stuff on credit. You can look like you have a million dollars as long as when you get your money that you do have coming in, you pay off our account and you put money down on the books. We'll keep making you suits because when you're just working off the money that you have on the books. So it looks like you have fresh money coming in. No, you're just working off the credit that you have on your books. So to the world, you look like you're buying a new thing every week. No, you're not buying new stuff every week. You just paid us in advance. So you you look like you're buying a new suit every day. Um, so, you know, that's how it looks. So we know Donald Trump ain't got no money. 
up here in the north. We know that. We know Donald Trump. So I put this stuff in the comments because Michael Trump, my, uh, Michael Cohen said nobody believed us. And in, in the north, we know that. <laughs> New York and New Jersey, Connecticut maybe, and probably Philadelphia, we know that because we know Donald Trump from the dirty streets. <laughs> We know Donald Trump from the 80s, the 90s, the thousands, and the tens and the teens. We know Donald Trump before he ran for uh, for office. Um, and the streets talk. So it's like I made a video before. It's like, how do you know that? It doesn't matter. We don't come up here and say how we know from somebody from somebody. We just know because we know who he is because he's from the neighborhood. It don't matter that he rich. We know a lot of rich white men. We know a lot of rich Italian men. We know a lot of rich Hispanic men. So what they before they were rich, they lived with us in the hood. Fuck. <laughs> they lived next to us. They just made money and they moved. We know a lot of Indian and Asian and Haitians and Jamaicans. Okay, we know these people and they know people we know. <laughs> so, okay, they made money. So what? They just stay same people who slept with our brothers and sisters and cousins and uncles and aunts and, and nephews and got babies by who? Ever. They got babies by. So what? Okay, now they got money. They still the same motherfuckers. So what? Big deal. <laughs> so I put some stuff in the in, in the news too and somebody said, hey, Crystal. <laughs> she wrote me back and sent me this um, thing, I guess in response to what I'm saying, because basically I was saying is you just took a hood rat and y'all believe the Kool-Aid that he was saying. So I said to Michael Cohen, oh, we up here that know him, that know him from the da 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 we believed you. It's the rest of the world that didn't realize that they basically took Donald Trump and you know, they let him, <laughs> they let him hoodwink him and they believe just this. So anyway, so, um, so Crystal and all of you others that believed him, what I was saying was, it's not that any American that voted for Donald Trump, anybody that was an adult could look at this man and see. Y'all know what the fuck y'all was voting for. Y'all not stupid. Nobody went in there with kid gloves on or angelic look, you know, expression on them. Some people said, well, why did the people in the church vote for him? You know, they, they know that he wasn't close to God. He's the furthest motherfucking thing from God with the dirtiest drawers on that, that you would expect. But my point is, these people know, and these radical people, they know that the Democrats and the Republicans have been robbing us blind, taking our tax money and robbing us blind for decades. And they don't know how to get rid of them because we keep voting for Democrats and we keep voting for Republicans and they don't know what the fuck to do. The, the people that are robbing us are the people we keep voting in. But we have a democracy. And now they're trying to get rid of democracy. Donald Trump ain't the one to do it. Donald Trump, let me tell you who Donald Trump is. Let me let me tell you people that I put in that quote. You, you non-affiliated people, right? Because y'all sat back, you didn't want to vote for nobody. Let me tell you you who you 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 all are voting for that's voting for and supporting Donald Trump. There was a movie called, um, I forget the name of it, New, New Jack City. I think that's the name of it. It, it was um, a Spike Lee movie with, um, come on, Golda. Oh, my dude, um, the Slayer, Vampire Slayer. It's a Spike Lee movie with... Um, Wesley Snipes, bitch. Yes, my dude, Wesley Snipes, and this and um, oh my God, Chris Rock. Now this is not the thing that I'm going to say about Chris Rock. Donald Trump. Chris Rock played a character named Pookie. Okay, so you you Donald Trump followers. Because everybody else that know the movie know who I'm talking about. Chris Rock played a character called Pookie. 
that character Pookie is Donald Trump is Pookie. Now, what I want y'all to do is take Pookie, go look at the movie, then take Donald Trump, put them motherfuckers side by side. You got to watch the movie and watch how Chris Rock portrayed the character Pookie. Don't look at the physical of Pookie. Look at how he portrayed him, how the rat thinks motherfucker that he portrayed him to be and take away the hair, take away the crack and the white around crack around the mouth, take away the black skin, take away the natted hair, take away the raggedy, funky, dirty clothes and the stench that you could smell through the screen of the character that Chris Rock was portraying. And I want you to put Donald Trump's white skin where Chris Rock's black skin is. Put Donald Trump's swooped over hair and sprayed on pink skin where Chris Rock's natted hair and now that hat that he had on, take the hat off and put the swooped over hair on, Donald Trump's hair where Chris Rock's is. Take away Chris Rock's black ass skin with that Ashley ash look on it and put that sprayed on pink pale skin on where Donald Trump's skin is and Donald Trump's face where Chris Rock's face is. Put on that suit where Chris Rock's raggedy tatted clothes is, right? And in that scene where he go up there in that building, and he go to get that crack, make Donald Trump in that scene, put Donald Trump in that scene and act like he walking into a immaculate bank. Donald Trump is pooky, right? So Donald Trump used to hang out with the who's who of who, and they never liked him. But his money, his father, Frederick Trump, left him all this money and this clout. So the Bill Clintons and the Nancy Pelosi's and the Chuck Schumer's and the Rudy Giuliani's, they couldn't, they couldn't, they couldn't do this to Donald Trump because he was a Trump. <laughs> See, the name came from Frederick Trump. And Frederick Trump carried all the clout. And you don't thump your nose in the air and turn a shoulder and a blind eye to the, the heir of the Trump fortune. So all them motherfuckers had to welcome him in. But he was a rat. And they knew he was a hood rat. But he had the white skin and he had the hair and the air and they couldn't stand him. They never liked him. <laughs> and he was a racist. This was racist as his daddy. But one thing Donald Trump was is he liked the brown girls. <laughs> he couldn't have one. He had to always go out and get the kind that his that he married to now. That's that's what his daddy told him he had to do. You want the money? You want the fame and the fortune. <laughs> so he wound up with the baby with the maid. <laughs> Cause he liked the, look how pretty this is. Look, he like that's what he like. <laughs> but you gotta marry what your daddy tell you you gotta marry. <laughs> Can't go around there and have no brown babies. <laughs> but at any rate, he managed to get one out anyway. Let it be <laughs> the prettiest baby you ever had. <laughs> Shit, if your daddy tell you you got to be a racist, your daddy tell you you got to be a racist. <sighs> but anyway, um, you see, that's why you see them blacks for Trump. <laughs> Anyway, because when the cameras ain't on, I already know what Trump's saying in them motherfuckers. <laughs> All 
right. But anyway, I'm off topic. <laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> so, so, um, I had lost my train of thought messing around. So, so, but the problem is, and the danger is with Trump. Yes, he just stole our documents. Um, because he really, what Michael uh, is saying, what Michael Cohen is saying is true. He really doesn't have a lot of money because he's a spendthrift. And, and he is a rat. And he don't know how to control his purse. So his fascination with these other world leaders has nothing to do with him, um, with him uh, respecting them as leaders. He just likes their motherfucking hustle because... They control everything that's going on in their country and they're gangsters and they're mobsters and they control all the money. And that's what the fuck Donald Trump wants. He wants every dime in this motherfucking country and he wants to spend it like Nancy is doing. That's what the fuck he wants. That's what the fuck he wants. So he done stole every goddamn secret. You idiots done put him in the office. And he done took them secrets. He done had them for a year. And he just sold them to the highest goddamn bidder. The problem with that is it's dangerous. And he don't give a fuck how many people fall out of windows. He don't. I don't care either. Because he shouldn't have been so fucking greedy. But um, it's only going to affect the richest of the richest. We ain't got no money. We ain't got no money. The richest people in this country are the greediest sons of bitches that have been trying to keep, not, not trying, not trying. They have been keeping us, who, who is us? All of us, Americans. The, the top 1% in this country have been keeping us under their fucking boot for the last hundred years. If you're black, 450 years. They ain't trying to give us goddamn reparations. They stole from Donald Trump. Donald Trump is pooky people. That's who he is. <laughs> um, but he double crossed you motherfuckers. Or maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't. And Jing, Jingping or whomever, which uh, I think is Jingping. Uh, uh, and I, I don't know which one. One of the motherfuckers said. You know, somebody double crossed somebody. Because um, there ain't no way, you know, they're they not going to kill off their own race. The, the man knows that he's black. Um, when I first started walking and I was trying to lose weight, the videos start, start around number, I'd say 20 is when I started um or maybe 15, 15, 20, 30. That's when I started really making the, the video for the channel. Um, so like video one through 10, maybe not so much. You might not need to watch them, but at least around video, I don't know. I don't know. Look at the title. Look at the title of the video. I don't know. Watch them all. Don't watch them all. But at least around video 15 is where I started talking about um, the channel and what I wanted to do with the channel. Reparations, money for the people. Oh, actually, it was for the people. And then I changed it to money for the people. Because if we don't get Congress to pass reparations for Black people, pass money for the people, um, $1,776 payments for Americans and for immigrants, immigrants, not migrants, immigrants that have already been here 10 years or more, 18 years of age or older, because the reparations is just a one-time payment. I know the figure. I haven't released it. Um, it's not an astronomical figure. And there are not a lot of um, Black people that fit into my version of who should get the reparations. Um, and some Black people aren't going to like it. Again, I did a video on it, but and I, and I think it's fair. And I said why I think 
not every black person in America deserves to get reparations. You just don't deserve it. You, you shouldn't get it. Besides, all Americans um, include is, are, are going to get the $1,776. If we don't get Congress to give every American, and I'm not talking about migrants, and I'm not talking about people who have not been in our country for 10 years. If you haven't been in this country for 10 years, if you have not paid into our tax system for 10 years, let's just say you've been in our country for 30 years, but you've not paid into our tax system, you still don't qualify. So don't, don't think that I'm talking about everybody that's in America because I'm not, I'm not. I'm not talking about everybody in America. Uh, just in case I didn't make myself clear, because there are a lot of people in America that call themselves American. I'm not talking about all those people. I'm just talking about Americans in America. Okay, that's in our tax system. Um, right now, we have, I think, 50 immigrants that we now have to pay about a million dollars to, uh, excuse me, 50 migrants that just came here to America about what, two weeks ago? That, um, or was that last week? And this is the beginning of the second week that DeSantis decided to violate their rights, um, their asylum rights. Cause see, they don't have any American rights because make no mistake about it. They broke the law getting here. They have no rights as Americans because they are not Americans. What was it? 50 of them, 60 of them. So um, yeah, we're, we're going to pay about a hundred million dollars uh, of our taxpayer money because of Ron DeSantis. It's a hundred million dollars about there's 60 of them plus their kids and their attorney's fees. And uh, they'll probably get about a million, a million and a half maybe each because even though they broke the law coming here and that is against the law, they have no rights. But once they broke the law and claimed asylum, now they fall under our asylum laws. So they have rights under our asylum laws. So instead of him letting them go through the process of asylum, he literally broke the asylum laws and trapped them, made them miss their court date, which now violated their civil right laws. So now they can file a lawsuit and they are already to lawyered up. So they're going to be suing us. We have to pay their lawyer's fees. You see how that works? So our taxes are now going to be about at least $100 million. Because like I said, there's 60 of them plus their kids. And they all get a million dollars. $60 million right there. Plus their kids get their own money. That's however many kids. They get a million dollars. So they'll be able to start. And they're going to become citizens. So right there, they get the American dream with their million dollars for them and their kids. So they get brand new houses, brand new cars. They have their college paid for. They have enough to start their own business. Right there of our tax. But they can't give us Americans money, our, our tax money. Something else they did was the war in Afghanistan for 20 Afghanistan for 20 years. You know how much that war costs, according to Brown University. I, I'm no nobody that can come up with these numbers. Professionals that have gone to school and this is their job to run the numbers. This is their numbers, not mine. Afghanistan war costs taxpayers, me. Taxpayer. Pay taxpayers. Ta paid taxes all my life, all my working life. That war cost us collectively per day, $300 million. And I said, no, they mean a year. No, no, 
No, no, I went and pulled the numbers. Brown University. Even Lindsey Graham, he quoted the numbers. Mm -hmm. $300 million a day for 20 years is how much the war in Afghanistan cost us. And that punk had the audacity to say, we left too soon. He up and left his country, up and left his army, and he's sitting somewhere safe being interviewed while the men were left, the women were left, the children were left. Do you know what we could have done with $300 million a day to bring Everybody in our country out of poverty, everybody in our country. And uh, just think what that money could have done for the people in America. And you say, why are the three percenters, the Oath Keepers, MAGA, and Blacks for Trump, Y'all want to know why are they supporting Trump? Y'all don't understand why they supporting Trump. Y'all don't understand why Pookie tried to get into the White House. <laughs> That's why. That's why. That's why they had a civil war. That's why they tried to attack the Capitol. Because you motherfuckers are stealing our tax dollars. So why don't y'all stop acting stupid? Why don't the rest of you people stop acting dumb and stop acting like y'all don't know why these people have taken up arms and tried to attack the Capitol? Who got the blinders on? But you cannot do it that way. You can't do it that way. That's not the way to do it. The way to do it is vote the motherfuckers out of office. Now, like I said, we can't keep voting for the Nancy Pelosi's because Nancy Pelosi, her and her husband getting rich. Her and her son getting rich. The Clintons got rich. The, the Schumers got rich. I have a list. I haven't. I have a list of the names of the people who are. Uh, I do it. Oh no. I hope did my YouTube book. <laughs> I actually have a, a YouTube book. <laughs> um where I get my articles and I print them out. I'm just busy. I got these lawsuits that I got to work on. And I don't have time for YouTube right now. Um, but as soon as I can get a break in between them. Um, when, I, when I watch TV, because I have to do my research. I do have to do my research um, on these stories. I can give my opinion. But I also like to research what I'm doing my um, opinion on. And um, I saw uh, an article on on um, Roland Martin, and um, just a side a, a sidebar. And he was telling me that there are oath keepers that are signed up that are working in um, a, a public office, and. He, in my state, I'm like, oh, I know we don't reading on their policies. All right. So, and uh, reading about the, uh, the policy and making sure that I opt out of, because a lot of people don't do this. Um, the, uh, again, another sidebar. Um, you're starting a YouTube channel. You make sure you opt out of the arbitration contract. 
Um, and then when you do opt out, put that you're opting out of all future updates because what happens is they update automatically. You, you can't catch all the updates. So when you update, when you opt out, say you're updating, you're opting out of this one and all future updates automatically. Um, because it, they, the updates, uh, they don't update yearly. They update <laughs> like every five seconds. And every time uh, uh, somebody else updates and, it, and that it applies to this updates and all future updates and for, for all its affiliates. Okay, the, I'm specifically looking for the black population because I want to calculate how much it would cost for the reparations. The, the figure that I have in mind to give the black population in the United States um, reparations. And uh, I hope it's not this time. Okay, so I did the leadership, Nancy Pelosi. I did the Republican leadership. Um, I'm not going to go through, but you see how thick this is. It's a bunch of pages. And um, the house people. Okay, so this is the thing. Um, I wanted to know. Who had a doctoral degree? You can't see it. Or maybe you can. I wanted to know who was deceased. Who would have had a, who had a prestigious scholar? What were the who was the salaries? Who was running for office? Who was defeated in the primary election? Who was foreign born? That's in our office. This is what takes me so long to do a video. Foreign born. Who is retiring? And it shows you if they're Democrat or Republican what state they're from and what district they're from. And so, uh, and then again, who's retiring? Master of business holders, who has a business degree? And the same thing here, again, whether they're Republican, Democrat, okay? Um, there's a reason that I'm looking all of this up. I, I don't need to just know about my state. I need to know about all 50 states so that when I do make the video and I put it out to the public, one, I can be informed and I can make an informed video. Um, also, the election is going to change things. So this is who is in there right now. In November, when things change, I can just go and write in the name of who holds that seat. And then I can ask, I have four years. This is my four-year plan. I have four years to get the information that I need to the people of the United States to say, listen, instead of waiting for another group of people or the other half of the voting electorate to start another civil war, because if you think that you're just gonna go away because Donald Trump goes away, they're not. They're simmering mad. They're boiling over. They're losing their homes. They're losing their land. They're losing their farms. They can't feed their kids. They're mad at the legislature. They didn't need Donald Trump to attack you motherfuckers. So you think if you take away Donald Trump, yeah, they're going to be pissed off because Donald Trump is their main mouthpiece. But they were pissed off before Donald Trump, you dumb motherfuckers. They were. They were championing Donald Trump coming down the stairs because they said, finally. Yes, some of them are racist and there's racists amongst them, but they said, finally. OK, there's a lot of racists amongst them, but they said, finally, at long last, we're going to get them motherfuckers out of there because they're stealing our money. 
कुछ आज Thank you. Okay, so when I tell you ridiculous is a name, make sure my first my first page came out. To keep a Democrat in those seats, and I don't know if they're conservative, I don't know if they're moderate. I don't know if they're progressive, but to keep a Democrat in those seats, if they're still holding them, and, and that's current list, that's the list that's there, just for the sake of having a Democrat in a seat, so a Republican or an independent doesn't take it, if you're just voting down the line, it, it does make sense to keep a Republican out, it, out of the seat or, or a a um, independent out of the seat if they're in there just for the sake of of keeping a a uh, somebody that Trump's trying to put in there or somebody that um, was trying to to be in there that's radical that makes sense it doesn't make any sense to keep them in there at, at this point when we're trying to is basically the same thing in my state. I literally just voted for someone back in office because nobody else was running. And I think that's why these people are still in there. Like, uh, I didn't want to not vote, but literally no one else was running for the Senate. But it wasn't like, who was I going to vote for? I had nobody else to vote for other than her old ass. I literally had no one else to vote for and neither did anybody else because nobody else ran. So I'm like, either I'm voting for her or I have nobody else to vote for. That's why they're in there. That is why they're in there and that has to stop. That's why I'm voting. That's why I printed this out. That's why I printed this out because we, we collectively, we have to select someone. We have to have somebody ready to write the fuck in. We Americans, if the Democratic Party is not going to put somebody up, we have to get a candidate. We have to know how many people are running and we have to know collectively together whose name we're going to put up and write in and we got to outsmart them motherfuckers. We got four years because there ain't enough time to do it now. And that person has to make sure that they pass reparations, the one-time payment reparations. And that person has to make sure that they pass $1,776. Them and the all the people that we are going to write in, because see, we we need to put in the people the people that we want to put in money for the people. The person people that we're putting in is going to pass what we want. We ain't gonna do what these knuckleheads are out here doing. Go and storm the Capitol. We're not doing none of that. We're not doing that. We're going to use our brain. We're going to use our finger. So don't, don't sit here. I think I'm sitting here wasting my time. 
There are enough registered people in America. We don't have to get together and get a party and this and that. No, we're going to use this. And we're going to use this. I'm going to get rid of this. Because this is ridiculous. We're going to speak to each other. We got phones. We got emails. You can type. You can text. This, this is ridiculous. And we're going to take our country back. We're not going to fight. We're not going to shoot. We're not going to threaten each other. We're not going to kill judges. What the fuck? We're not going to shoot police officers. Goddamn stupid are you? We can't. We're not going to defund the police and shit. <clears throat> like that's stupid. We're not going to live in a society where we don't have any law enforcement. They're bad judges. They're bad police officers. You weed them out and you get rid of them. You file complaints against their ass and you use the good judges and you use the good police officers. You use the good prosecutors to get rid of the bad ones. Fuck's the matter with you? You don't get rid of our goddamn judicial system. Then that means they won. There's corruption in every system, people. You get rid of the bad ones. You don't let the bad ones take over the goddamn system. You don't let the bad Donald Trumps win. You don't let the bad pookies win. There's a lot of pookies that, that work in our criminal justice system. <coughs> Pookie done figured out he can't keep dressing up like Pookie. Pookie done figured out he got to look like Donald Trump. <clears throat> right? He done figured it out. He still want the crack, but he can't look like a crackhead. <laughs> but he's still Pookie. Well, he's still Pookie. He just looked like Donald Trump. And he working in our courthouses I, I just wrote a judge up right now. He ain't nothing but pookie. <clears throat> I don't have to write up another judge. Um, but I don't think I do. It's just that the attorney trying to make him look like pookie. <laughs> and the judge thinks I don't know what I'm doing because I'm pro se. <laughs> no, judge. I, I know I got my evidence. I know what I'm doing. She, they just trying to play you stupid. <laughs> know what i don't know if you if you doing something for them on, behind the scenes or not but i'm gonna sit back and watch and see what you do if you follow the rules then i know you not pookie if you don't follow the rules then you pookie and i gotta write you up too <laughs> so, i don't want to oh but this is why I don't have time to be on this channel every day and all the time because it takes me time and I don't feel well so this channel is my break. I got to take my eyes away from the, the screen from typing because <laughs> it's a lot of work. <sighs> Shit. People just grimy as fuck. Then they get mad at me. Then they call me a bitch. No, I'm not the bitch. If you left me the fuck alone in my four little walls back here, minding my business, I wouldn't be taking you to court. You did remember you did something to me. I did nothing to you. Fuck out of here. Cuz I'm nice don't mean I'm a goddamn uh, a, a carpet that you going to walk all over me. Anyway. Have a nice day. <laughs> Watch out for Pookie. <laughs>